We cannot take your call right now. No. Please leave your name and your number. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day. Welcome to the Snowplow Show. This is RBCP, your host. Today is June 8th, 2016, and today's show is sponsored by High School Graduate. Thank you, High School Graduate, for becoming a Patreon member at patreon.com slash phonelosers, even though it's better if you support the show by going to phonelosers.org slash cactus. Whatever, I don't care. Do what you want. I've gotten a lot of suggestions for a replacement to the phrase slash word whatever of prank call victim. You know, when we call people a prank call victim, it makes them sound like a victim for some reason. Sounds like I ran up to them on the street and stole their purse. These people aren't victims. So I put out the call for you guys to come up with a new phrase or word. And there's been a lot of comments on YouTube and on phonelosers.org. And I'm going to read a few of them. Not all of them. And some of these, uh, you know, I think some users may have either stolen them from other users or they just happen to come up with the same idea. So don't be upset if I don't read your idea and don't be upset if I don't give you credit for your idea because it was kind of hard to keep up with these. So I'm just going to quickly read through this list. Uh, Adam suggested several of them. Uh, He suggested prank mate, prank contestant, prank gasm. And my favorite of his is prank star. I think several people suggested prank star. And I like that one because it sounds like porn star and everybody loves porn stars. So it's kind of a compliment to people we call calling them prank stars. It's as if we're making them famous or something. Philip on YouTube says prank participant. The fashion bug says objects of our prank desires. And he also suggests prank winner and prank playmate. Those aren't too bad. A guy named Abco says prank call participant, prank call respondent, and prank call partner. And then Ben says Abco's idea of respondent is good, but he likes prank call responder better. And that's a good one. I like that one. Uh, Still Mantis says prank helper, prank aide, prank partner, prank pal, prank assistant. Scott says that a prank call beneficiary receives a call from a prank call benefactor. Which makes sense. He might just be correcting someone. I'm not sure. Or correcting what I said in the last show. High School Graduate, the sponsor of today's show, says prank call players, but he capitalized P-L-A. That was very clever. Not really, you guys. I'm just saying that because he's the sponsor. Just come on, let him have this, all right? Uh, Jerko232 says call them a dumbass. I like that one. Instead of victims, we'll call them dumbasses. That's perfect. Tom's translation says, you're the prank caller, they are the prank call E. And I've actually thought of that one before. I think I've used that one before. And then he also says, prank responder. Oh, wait, someone already said that, I think. Jeff on YouTube wants us to use an acronym called CHUMP, C-H-U-M-P, which, of course, stands for Callers Harboring Unlimited Mockery Potential. Green Hornet says we should call them picker-uppers. Izzy Riot says call them ringers. But they're not ringers, they're ring E's. I'm calling them. I'm the one who knocks. Luke says, as far as the improvement on the name prank call victim goes, I suggest that even if we agree with a single term that broadly defines all people who are on the receiving end of a prank call, perhaps it would be good to categorize the callers by how they act in return. For instance, if a caller gets mad and calls you names, they would be called a phone warrior or something. If they play along, they could be called a prank call participant. And that's kind of a cool idea, you know, maybe with different terms or something, but kind of reward them by how they act toward me. Basically, they win a prize every time I call them, which sounds really confusing, but I still kind of like that idea. Uh, Boggy B, he says, how about we call them prank call prey, as in P-R-E-Y. Yeah, that sounds much better than victim. He also suggests uh, Marty, prank call Marty and prank call stooge and prank call kill. So thanks for that, Boggy B. Let's see, someone named My New Name says Prank Stars. We've already done that one. What a thief. And Ben says, what about Prank Call Pranktisipant? Get it? Get it? Pranktisipant? That's a pretty good one. Uh, Thunder Pranks also suggest Pranksipients. Oh, wait, no, that's different. Pranksipients. So Pranktisipant and Pranksipients. Jason says we should refer to them as Surprise Podcast Guest Stars. Yeah, that rolls off the tongue. He says that makes it sound positive and implies that you're actually doing them a favor by selecting them to receive a call from you. Cortland says we should call them butt slammies, or as I would say it, butt slammy. 
And then finally, Sir Stonebeard says we should call them privileged prank recipients, or as he put it, PPR. So what I've done is I've created a poll on the Phone Losers of America Facebook group, which you can find at facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. And I put all of these options into the poll and people are voting on them and people can add their own. You can tell that people can add their own because there's options in here like phone rape contestants and stranger danger and convicted sex offender. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to tell you the top few winners so far in the voting section. The top winner with 30 votes total is Roy Sipient, which I like Roy Sipient for my show, but it doesn't really translate well to other shows. So that would work good for me. I mean, I like that one. And I don't know who I'm kidding because I know other prank shows aren't going to start referring to prank victims as anything but prank victims. Uh, Number two on the list with 10 votes is Prank Call Benefactor. Number three with seven votes is Surprise Podcast Guest Star, which I don't know why people are voting for that. That's I would never use that. That's way too much effort to say that whole thing, Surprise Podcast Guest Star. Fuck that shit. And then the number four on the list with only two votes is Prank Star, which is kind of my favorite right now, and I might just use that no matter what the votes say. I really like Prank Star. So anyway, I'm going to put a link in the show notes to this poll so all of you can go and vote on it. And while you're at it, you can join the PLA Facebook group. Why haven't you done that yet? But yeah, go vote on the new word phrase thing for prank call victim. The link for the poll will be in the show notes at phonelosers.org. And speaking of voting, everyone should go to podcastawards.com and vote for the Snowplow Show in the comedy category. If you've forgotten, we got nominated for that, and we need votes, I guess. Apparently, you can vote every single day if you want to. So if you want to go there every single day and vote, then you should go do that if you want to. I really don't care. I don't care if we win. It would be cool, I guess. But I kind of doubt it's going to bring us any more listeners, and that's all I really care about. I don't care about a dumb award. I just care about getting more listeners. I actually went there one day and voted for Distorted View instead of myself because Distorted View is awesome and I've been listening to him for years. So go to podcastawards.com and vote. Vote for other categories too if you want. There's a lot of good shows in there. Okay, let's get started with the live show. In this show, you're going to hear me make references to a second part of the show, like a second idea and stuff. But you're not going to hear that second part. You're just going to hear the first part of the show, which is where I call a bunch of square dancer people. And the reason I'm leaving the second part of the show off this time is because I'd really like to finish that second part of the show up. If you listen to the live version, then you know I did a bunch of Sensei Doug calls, and I still have a bunch left on the list that Crimson sent me. So I'm going to finish those up and hopefully do another show this week or this weekend, which might end up being nothing but Sensei Doug calls, thanks to Crimson. And if you can't wait for me to do that second show and you really want to hear the Sensei Doug calls now, all you have to do is be a supporter of the show for $5 a month at phonelosers.org slash cactus or on Patreon and you could listen to some Sensei Doug calls right now along with a bunch that didn't work out that well but for now here is the first part of the show Hi, I'm Murray from Sesame Street and I'm looking for the word on the street What's the word on the street? Cactus What does the word cactus mean? Cactus is a type of plant Where do cactuses live? I think it's somewhere in the desert What does it look like? It's green. And it has, like, prickly things on it. Cactus! Ow! That's the word on the street! Let's see. uh, Today I have two things, two possibilities. Possibility number one is from someone named Chris B. Chris B. sent me three random number lists. Um, And I don't know what these other two are. I, I think I didn't like them, but this one that he sent... Um, they're called callers, and apparently that's what you call someone who's into square dancing. They're a caller. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't know anything about square dancing. So I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read this page. Uh, maybe we can all figure it out together. Uh, it says, welcome to the official State Callers Association website. Annual membership dues have been suspended through June of 2019, so now is the time to encourage your fellow callers slash cures to join and rejoin. The Callers Association is a professional organization of square dance callers and round dance cures. It promotes the exchange of ideas and provides education and information about square and round dance activity to its members, dancer organizations, and the general public, as well as provide training for new and seasoned callers. Callers from Texas and surrounding states are members. We have a wealth of calling experience to share. 
Uh, square dancing is fun, fitness, and friendship set to music in a smoke and alcohol free environment. It is an expression of joy. Our members provide square dancing entertainment to dancers across the United States and the world. The pages in this website are provided as a source of information for callers and dancers alike. Wait, so the callers aren't dancers? What, what the fuck's a caller? Anyway, I don't think they meant to do this, but they put their entire member directory uh, up online as a PDF. Uh, someone in the chat room says the caller runs the square dancing. The caller tells everyone what a square dance moves, what square dance moves to do. Okay, they give instruction. They don't dance. Callers are announcers. So what the hell? It's a whole association of just callers and nobody else. Uh, Eren wants me to call them and ask if I can square dance without any legs. So there's this page on this website, um, the Callers Hall of Fame, and uh, half of, you know, has their names and what day they were inducted into the Callers Hall of Fame, and half of the people on the list have, uh, it says, deceased in parentheses after their name. So I guess it's going to be a bunch of old people. Uh, this, this might get really depressing or something. I'm going to be calling and reaching, uh, you know, spouses, and they're going to be like, oh, he's dead. Let me tell you all about him. So, uh, I've set my caller ID to one of the numbers on, on the contact page. And uh, one of the contacts, his name just happens to be Brad. So, I could just be myself today. Milkbrain wants me to get the taps uh, music ready. I think we're going to need it. I need to get a royalty-free version of taps. So, um, yeah, I guess this whole thing is just going to depend on the chat room, because I sure don't know what to say to square dancers. But I'm going to get started. I'm just going to call one and see what happens. <laughs> they need to come in a square costume. Oh, can I tell them they have to twerk now? Hello. Hello, is this John? Speaking. Hey, John, it's Brad. I'm with the, the Callers Association. Yeah, okay. Hey there, um... Uh, we just uh, we found out recently from the state um, that the requirements for square dancing uh, requires you to to pass high school geometry. Come on, uh, what? Yeah, it's just this new thing they're doing with the. It's just an education thing, and um, you're gonna have to take high school geometry. Oh, cool. No. Yep. Why don't you go ahead and give me physics? I can handle that too. Oh no, physics. That's that's ridiculous. No, it's just gonna be geometry. <laughs> What's that? The angle, the angle, he gets the heat of the meat or what? I don't know. Yep, what you said. <laughs> so well, what else is going on? Well, I'm glad you think this is funny, motherfucker. <laughs> you're not Who buying are you? you're not buying this, are you? No, not a bit. I really am Brad. That's the important so which thing. Which Brad are you? We got we got like four Brads that belong to the College Association. So which one are you? Uh, wouldn't you like to? Know? I know you're not Caldwell because I know Caldwell's voice. Maybe I have a cold. You ever think of that? Uh, no, I I know Brad with a cold. Okay. Oh, I bet you do. So, what is it that you really want? Well, no, you're going to have to go back to high school. Basically, um, we're we're setting up a system where you can just go sit in a high school classroom and. And, and, you know, take geometry, take some tests and stuff. Oh, cool. Yep, so that's going to start on Monday. Well, that's going to be hard for me to be there on Monday. What are you doing on Monday? I'm going to be at a doctor's office. What are you doing at the doctor's? I just had my neck surgery. I ain't going to go nowhere or do anything for a couple of weeks. Well, you don't so need... You're, gonna you have don't, to t you're all going to take a test without me. You don't really need your, your neck for, uh, you know, geometry. You're just yeah, right. but you got to be able to drive, and I'm restricted. Just take one of those new self-driving cars. Mm. Take an Uber. Uber, yeah, no, no. I don't spend money. I don't have to. Oh no, it's it's cheaper than driving. Uh, I don't think he would be appreciated if I didn't pay him something. Okay, well, whatever. I have I have to I have other people to call and tell them about geometry. Well, that works. Go ahead. I will watch me. Have a good day. Hang, hang up the phone. Yay, he hung up. Oh, that was awful. This, this is probably not going to work out at all.
Howdy. Hey there. Uh, is this, is Deborah around? Uh, who's this? Well, hey, don't worry about it. It's between me and Deborah. Fuck you, asshole. Hey, hey, don't talk hey, to me like hey, that. <laughs> Isn't he going to be surprised when he Googles the number that called him? Okay. Oh, hello. This is Brad from the State Callers Association. Could I please speak with Deborah? Brad who? Yeah, from the State Callers Association. Brad who? Yes, Brad who? There is no such a damn person. Yes, who the, the hell are you? Yeah, we have like four Brads here. What are you talking about? There's like four different Brads. I don't How know who you, you are and don't give a shit. You don't know all the Brads. Just put Deborah on the fucking phone. Kiss my ass, buddy. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't oh, you? would like that, wouldn't Hello. Hello. Is Jimmy around? Hold on. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jimmy? Yeah. Hey there, this is Brad from the State Callers Association. Yeah. And um, we just had some complaints about you here at the the dance. At the what? At the, you know, here at the the callers, you know, the the meetings, callers, goals, game things, dancing. Uh, You're not allowed to be twerking. You need to stop twerking while we're square dancing. I promise I won't do that. Okay, yeah, you can't... You're kidding, right? No, no, I'm not kidding at all. Uh, You're not allowed to twerk. This is a family, you know, association. (laughs) I've had some complaints about it. Yeah, yeah, people are saying you're twerking too Do you know who I am? Uh, Yeah, you're Jimmy. Okay. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, Somebody's pulling your leg, I think, Brad. Brad Caldwell, right? Yeah, yeah, this is Brad. Well, this is Jimmy Cole, and I'm 77 years old, and it ain't likely I'm going to be twerking. Oh, well, you know, it, obviously you know what twerking is, so I think you know how to twerk. So you need to cut that out. No more twerking. <laughs> okay. Okay. We we're tired of it, Jimmy. We're tired of it. Okay. <laughs> also, when you're when you're uh, dancing and calling and all that stuff that you do... um. Whenever you get close to people, you keep like leaning toward them and whispering the word boner in their ear. And that's inappropriate. All right. So don't do that anymore. Huh? That's that's an appro- Okay, I won't do that no more. Okay, thank you. Mhm. Uh you have a nice day. All right. Sweet dreams. Bye now. Okay, he hung up. Um, square dancers seem to be in, uh, <laughs> good spirits, you know? I don't think they're gonna get too angry at me. I think I'm gonna have to move on to the next thing. Hello? Hello, Paul? Yeah? This is Brad from the, uh, the, the, the Callers Association. How you doing, Brad? Not too bad. Um, I just needed to let you know that we're, uh, we're doing a few new things on, uh, the, on the next upcoming Callers dealy thingy. Okay. Um, number one, um, do you have any uh, assless chaps? You know those those leather uh, things. No, no. I don't. Uh, you're gonna have to get some of those. Um, you can pick those up at a, I don't know, probably a Harley Davidson store or maybe a sex shop. But uh, mm-hmm. everyone's gonna be required to wear assless chaps from now on. Sounds like a great time. Yep, it is gonna be. And uh, also, instead of square dancing, we're going to be doing line dancing, because that's kind of the new thing okay. that the kids are doing these days. Mm-hmm. Are you well, buying you this? we have a great time with that. Oh, we will. It's going to be amazing. Are you going to be here this week? Uh, no. What, what day are you coming in next? <laughs> yeah, uh, no. What day are you coming in next? Don't expect to any time soon. Why not? What are you doing? What, are you just quitting? Are you giving it up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did you hear that Trump was assassinated today? It was on the news. Are you watching the news? No. All right. We'll try not to cry. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go. All right. It's been a great conversation. Thanks.
Thanks for doing your part in the conversation. Bye. Good Take job. Care. Bye. Hang up the phone. It's almost time to move on to the next thing. This is <laughs> this is not working. The only good one was the, the guy that wouldn't let me talk to his wife. Uh-oh. Either the number you've dialed is not a working number or must be dialed with the correct area code plus... So either they had an area code change or... Rest in peace, Richard Covington. Hello. Hi, Connie. I believe you had the wrong number. Oh, well, is Al... Or No, I'm sorry. I was calling for Nelda. Is this Nelda? Yes, it is. I'm, I'm calling from the State Callers Association. This is Brad. Oh, okay. And uh, we were having... Uh, we had some uh, complaints and I needed to address with you. Okay. Um, they, they, you've, they, people have been saying you've been pentagram dancing instead of square dancing when you're here and you need to cut it out because that's too many sides. Been doing what? You, you're, you've been pentagram dancing and you know, it's nothing against your religious beliefs or anything. You just can't be pentagram dancing. I'm not. I, I don't know. Who am I talking to? Uh, this is Brad from the state callers. It doesn't, no, it doesn't sound like Brad Caldwell. I know uh, Brad Caldwell's uh, voice. Hey, hey, I, I didn't say Brad Caldwell. It's, it's Brad Carter. I don't know Brad Brad Carter. Okay, well, you don't have to know me. I'm just calling to to resolve these issues with you. Um, You've been well. I don't know. I don't know. I have not been doing that. I I call regular square dancing. Sometimes I call six couple dancing. Yeah, but you've been going in a pentagram shape. No, I haven't. Yes, you have, and that's too many sides. It confuses everyone when you when you do pentagrams. Who who is who have you been talking to? Where have I been calling? A, a lot of people. This? A lot of people have been complaining about this, and also there's the issue of your twerking during square dancing, and that's that's just inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know who you think you're talking to, but you ain't talking to the right person. This, but you're, you're complaining about, so I'm gonna hang up. No, it's definitely you. What are you talking about? It's we've had all these complaints, and and now you're just pretending you're not even doing it. Oh. Well, at least she 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 believed me for once. I got someone that believes me, so that's a good thing, right? Uh, VB seventy two hundred. He, he's the one that came up with the pentagram thing. Apparently, a pentagram is a shape. Either the number you dialed is not a working number, or must oh. be dialed with the correct. Rest in peace, Al Fraser. Bob Murphy. So this guy's name is Skip, and his wife's name is Lou. Hello. Hi, Lou. Yes. Hey, Lou. Is Skip around? I'm calling from the State Callers Association. Uh, no. He he should be back just any time. He went a couple of doors down to the dentist. I see. Okay. Like, did he just walk there? I'm sorry? You, uh, just a couple doors down, like you live on the same block as a dentist? I'm, I'm not understanding you. <laughs> oh, okay. It doesn't matter. I, um, like okay. When he was here dancing uh, the last time, his shoes left marks on our floor. Could he call back on this number that's on here, that, that you left or that's on here? Yeah, yeah, he can do that. Okay, because he should be back, uh, oh, 15 minutes or so. I okay. Mean, well, well, that, can, it just can, depends on how fast they are. Can you just, can, <laughs> so. can you just clean up his shoes? Because, you know, he left marks all over the floor. I think his shoes are dirty. Okay. Good, clean, okay. clean up his, his square dancing shoes. They're a mess. Okay, what is he supposed to do to them? Uh, clean them. Clean um, clean his shoes. But you have to do it, because you're the wife. Well, it's, does he usually clean your squared shoes? Well, he just left marks all over the floor, and then I have to clean them up, and I just don't want to. Well, where does he... Where do you leave marks on the floor? Well, you know, I guess I'm not... Uh, he was like kicking up the I'm floor. I'm not following all this. Yeah, he he was like kicking the floor really hard with his boots and stuff. Well, I realize that, but 
Yeah, he's leaving marks on the floor. Tell him to cut it out. Well, where does he leave marks on the floor? Just all over the place. Every place he steps. He, there's a, there's just like a, a marks in the shape of a square on the floor as he's dancing. Well, let me tell you, he hasn't been able to dance in quite some time now. Yeah, well, what's he do now? He just does the calling and stuff? Well, we he hasn't even been calling for a while. Okay. He's had surgery and... Well, he's been out of it now for about two months. We yeah, yeah. Well, I'm even talking done about anything at our club. Yeah, I'm just. Talk- I'm sorry. I'm well, but he he kind of dances while he calls. You know, he just kind of dances in place, but in like in the shape of a square. I don't think so. And sometimes in the shape of an Are octagon. You sure you've got the right person here. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely. We've never skip. cleaned square net shoes before. Yeah, well, you're you're going to start now, aren't you? Because you're messing up our floors. What what floor? <laughs> you know, the, we have a floor here. You know, the ground. Where? The ground, the floor, whatever. We're leaving marks. Well, where, have, where has he been messing up the floor recently? Everywhere. Everywhere he's gone. Like, he'll he'll stand in place, and he's doing his calling, and he's dancing around while he's calling, which, which you're not but supposed to do. he hasn't called for probably three, four months. Oh, I thought it was two he's- months. Also, he was twerking while he was he's calling. He's had quite a lot of surgeries, and right now he's got, uh, he has bone cancer, and he's in treatments, and mm-hmm. we haven't, he hasn't been going anywhere calling or anything. How come his boot- That's why I'm wondering, are you, have you got the right person? Yeah, definitely. Somebody else must be messing up your floor. No, no, definitely skip. Also, do you know why his, his boots are two sizes too big and they smell like sheep? Do I know what? His boots, they're like two, I, two sizes too big, and they smell like sheep. I was just, that's weird, you know? Like, why didn't he get boots yeah, that fit? he doesn't even wear boots anymore. Well, s- sneakers that are two sizes too big and smell like sheep. i tell you what, I'm going to have him call you at this number okay. when he comes home, because I have no idea what you're talking about. D- does, he, does, he, um, does he twerk around the house a lot? Or does he just do that here when he at the calling stuff? Does he do what around the house? Twerk. It's a it's a type of dancing where he, <laughs> where he shakes his butt a lot. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I guess yeah. I I must be pretty dense. We're both kind of under the weather and all. I had a stroke recently, <laughs> also, so oh, I'm, I'm not remembering a lot of stuff that I should. Okay, and I'm still in therapy right now that my therapist just left just 30 minutes ago mm-hmm. and he's had to go over to the dentist and your, your, your therapist did too had to go to the dentist he went to the dentist oh i, I see. had therapy therapist did okay i had therapy here at home i'm having speech therapy i see okay right now well i think you sound anyway, great anyway i'll have him where are you where do you live i live here just here in town you know here by the the twerking, I mean the, the calling building just down. I'm, I'm, I live above it. I'm up on top, in the loft space, uh-huh. above the where, callers association. Let me ask you, where do we? Where are? I guess I'm really not following this at all. What square dance hall has he been leaving marks? Oh, pretty much all of them, and he just needs to cut it out. Well, which is <laughs> one or two or so. Ah, uh, like the chili pepper, um, the one over on the north side of. Fourth Street. North side of Fourth Street and what yeah. town? Fourth Street East West. East West. What? On the on the what on town? the south on the south side of town. In our town, here in uh in Austin. Lutskin? Yeah, Lutskin. Is that what you said? Yeah, the Lutskin one. We haven't called in Lutskin for a while. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Anyway, I'm going to have him call you because I have no idea what we're talking about. Okay, sounds great then. Because he's never, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll have him call you and I hope that I the number is is on the phone here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm on. sure it is. Yep. Uh, and what is your name? Uh, my name is Brad. It's what? Brad. Brad? Yep. Okay, I'll I'll have him call you when he comes in. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, have, have a nice day. Well, you too, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, bye. 
Uh, Ron Newman wants me to call back and pretend to be their grandson. Maybe ask for some money. Like, Grandma, I'm trapped in London. <laughs> and, and I've been mugged. Please, Western Union me $5,000. That'll get me home. Good afternoon. Hello, uh, Nora? Yes. Hey there, is John around? Yes, he is. Okay, I'm calling from the call the State Callers Association. Good afternoon. Hi, John. Yes. Hey, John. This is Brad from the State Callers Association. Uh, yes, Brad. And uh, we just need to find out: Are you any good at water skiing? No. Okay, we're gonna do this thing where we square dance while water skiing. Oh yes. No, I'm not a candidate for that. Okay. Um, how good are you at geometry? respect uh you know just general basic geometry um uh i'd say um freshman level geometry high school geometry probably not that good i'm 83 years old Brad. yeah but you know you've taken geometry <laughs> which is where we've got this new requirement for the callers uh we're gonna have to make them uh-huh. all, all take uh geometry classes and pass geometry okay yep so uh, are you going to be able to pass geometry, or do you need to maybe take some classes at the community college? Well, I'd probably have to take some classes at the community college. Okay, yeah, because if you can do that, um, you can be recruited for the Square Dancing Callers World Championship. Okay, what what uh, what does this test involve? You know, is it... Oh, you know, just you, you know, all the geometry questions. You probably already remember them all from high school. You know, just uh, basic geometry stuff. It, it's really important to know for uh, for square dancing. <laughs> okay. Because we have some jokesters well, here here at the Callers Association that they 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 go around doing octagons and stuff, and and that's stupid. That's bullshit. They need to be doing doing squares. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Do, do you know how to calculate uh, pi for uh, for a square? How to calculate pi? Well, if I want to use pi, I just divide seven into twenty-two, and that's close enough. Okay. Well, that that I don't know if that works for squares, though. That might just be for circles. You need to be able to calculate pi for a square and an octagon. I can probably do that. Can you find x when y equals five and x is squared? Probably not. Oh, come on. Just you're, 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 We're going back in history now. <laughs> to, oh, no, no. This is geometry. Just uh, uh, the first thing that pops into your head. Uh, find x when y equals 5 and x is squared. Twenty-five? No. The answer is banana. No. What's that? Banana. So apparently you don't remember geometry that well. No, no, I don't. <laughs> So um, we have a new uniform for square dancing. Uh, for for the callers, it's going to be blue jeans and a white t-shirt and red suspenders. Okay. Uh, when are we required to wear that? Immediately. Like starting right now at home. You do have, do you have red suspenders? I'm pretty sure I do, yeah. Oh, of course you do. Okay, yeah, yeah. Could you put those on real quick? I can hold. Uh, you really want me to? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I can, uh, yeah, yeah, just set the phone down and put them on real quick. Because if, if you ask me to take a picture of this, I can't take a picture on my uh, cell phone. I'm not on a cell phone, actually. Uh, no, no, that's fine. No, just, we don't need a picture. I, I'll believe you if you put them on. Well, okay, let me, uh, uh I'm heading for the closet. Really, what's this all about, Brad? Uh, it's just part of a new uniform. Um, we were going to do it like assless chaps and stuff, but they they were saying that's too inappropriate, so we're just going to do blue jeans and red suspenders. Uh huh. Well, okay, I, I got the suspenders. I haven't got them on. Oh, just put them on real quick. I'll hold. Do you have yoga pants? No. Oh, that's okay. Jeans is fine too. Well, I'm not wearing jeans right now, but... What are hold you, on a second. What, okay. 
You guys, this is how old people get scammed out of money. First they ask for the red suspenders to be put on, and then it just goes from there. Next thing you know... Okay, I got my suspenders on. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, do you have any high heel strip stripper shoes? No. Hmm. Well, you know, just regular shoes is fine then, I guess. Okay, so where is this leading? Uh, do you have a like uh, like some sort of a costume that's square? That's square. Yep. You know, just something with uh, uh, like square shoulders, like like when you put it on, you look like a Minecraft character. Uh, really, I don't know. Ah, darn it. Um, what's your social security number? Oh no, no, no! I'm not going there. The bank account number. No, I'm not going there. All right, just checking. Um, let's see. Do you have the I'm being prank called outfit in your closet? A what? It, it's a, it's an outfit. It's called the I'm being prank prank called outfit. No. Oh, okay. Um, you might need to get one of those for the next uh, event that we do. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, you should write it down. It's called the I'm Being Prank Called Outfit. It's like a costume for square dancing. I'm being pranked. I'm okay. being prank called on the telephone. Okay. So I'm being prank called on the telephone. Yeah, just write that down. Okay. Then? And that's all. Yeah, just uh, go to your local square dancing supply store and... Be like, yeah, I need the I'm being prank called outfit. And what uh, reaction am I going to get from them? Um, they'll they'll go to the back and they'll they'll bring it out for you. They'll be like, uh, what size are you, sir? I'm I, I'm sure they will. They will probably come out with a net to put over me. <laughs> probably. I mean, we don't want that. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying. I'm trying to get you committed. This is all just a joke. I guess I should okay, just... Okay, what, what am I supposed to be committed to, though? Uh, committed to an insane asylum. That will happen. Sooner yeah. or later, that will happen. People have already told me this. Yeah, probably. That's true. Um, we have a celebrity joining the, the Callers Association. Um, would, would you mind being paired up with Carrot Top? Uh, probably it would not be my cup of tea. Yeah, but it'll be fun. It'll be wacky. He he's really funny as a caller and he 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 likes to he prefers to have a partner. And uh he likes well, to, he likes to use props and stuff. Uh-huh. Yep, it's really funny. It's a, it's got a it's a really funny bit that he does. Well, I'm sure it is, but he's probably not dealing with an 83-year-old when he's being funny. Yeah, but uh he he, See, he we lose our sense of humor 20 years ago. Uh, no, no, I can tell you've still got it. <laughs> I don't think so. Not that much. Come on, you're wearing red suspenders. That, that there I am sitting here wearing red suspenders and wondering why. That means you're awesome. <laughs> okay, well just make sure you bring those suspenders on the next uh, thing that we do when you come here, okay? Okay, uh, um, on like for a Thursday night, you mean? Yeah, Thursday night. And uh, w I'll bring, I have a spare I'm being prank called uniform here and I'll bring it with me for you. Okay. But I'll bring the red suspenders. Okay, yes, please, please do. By, by, by the way, I'm not calling on Thursday night. You know that, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, I know that. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right, well, give Nora hugs and kisses from me. I'll certainly do that. Okay, but don't tell her husband. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, well, have a nice Brad, day. Brad, take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. Okay, bye now. Well, that was weird. I was about to give up. <laughs> and, then, and then a guy goes and puts red suspenders on. Whoever told me to do that, thank you. That was kind of funny. He knows not to give out his social, though. I think that should be my new challenge. All these people, I'm going to get them to give me their social security number. Hello, this is Arnold speaking. 
Hey Arnold, uh, this is Brad from the Callers Association. Yes, Brad. And uh, I just needed to let you know that um, uh, on our next event we're doing, are you going to be here on Thursday? Um, no, because I can't. I can't get up to Waco. I'm tied up. I see. oh, you are okay. Yeah. Should, should I Wait, call nine one one? No, or? I can't. No. <laughs> no. What are you talking about, Brad? I'm sorry. You just told me you're tied up. Anyway, I was just le- I wanted to let you know um we're doing this thing. Uh, Where, where's here? I'm sorry, where's here? I'm sorry, where's her where's here? In Waco. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. Got you. Well no, see that's my regular calling night on Thursday. Uh huh, yep. Here from my club here in Cedar Park. Yeah, well that's what I'm saying, like um we're gonna start doing uh square dancing with uh Syrian refugees, like starving children. It's going to be like a fun little event to, uh, you know, bring up their spirits because they're all starving. Uh Uh-huh. But we're going to have to bring in some new moves uh, for the children. You know, we're going to do twerking, because that's what the kids like these days. But you're going to be partnered up. When are you going to do this event? Uh, We're going to do this uh, every single time, starting on Thursday. Like, this is going to be the new thing. This is the new calling. The new calling association. We're going to... We're going to be uh, bringing in Syrian refugees and uh, teaching them how to square dance. And where are you doing this? I'm lost. I don't understand this Everywhere. At all. Where are you doing this, Brad? Across the state. Everywhere. Waco, Cedar Ridge, everywhere. Oh. Everywhere. We're, we're going to bring in Syrian refugees to every city, and we're just going to tour them from place to place. Okay, so what are you asking from me? Or are you just telling me this is going to happen? Yeah, well, we want to pair you up with, uh, like, um, you know, we want to get you paired up with someone. So you're all ready when you get here. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to make it up there. So so that won't work. I've got my local club to do here in Cedar Park. Oh, okay. Well, I see. So you're just being racist. Like, as soon as I mentioned Syrian refugees, you're like, oh, I don't want to be involved no, with that. I No, Ooh, I'm not. I, this is for... Brad, Brad, I'm not doing that at all. I'm telling you, this is for this is for this in conjunction with the state convention, correct? Oh, sure, it is. Brad, you're, you're making no sense here. But you're making any sense here? I where know. where are they doing the dancing? Uh, here in Waco. But it's going to be everywhere. Okay. We're going to go. For, we're going to go all the cities, and yeah, Austin and Waco, everything. Okay, I live in Austin. El Chapo might make an appearance. Brad. What? This, com- this conversation makes no sense. I'm sorry. You, I, I'm, look, you're not making I'm, any sense at all. Look, look, look. I'm a little high right now. I'll be honest with okay. you. I'm a little high. Okay, get yourself squared away, and then we want to have an intelligent conversation. We can talk. Thank you. Squared away. That was a good one. That guy does not have time for games. Hello. Please leave a message. So I guess the square dancing happens all over the place, so there's no central location or anything for callers. So that makes it confusing. Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, Deborah? Yes. Hey, Deborah. This is Brad from the State Callers Association. Yes. And um, I just needed to let you know, we're, we're required by law to let you know that whenever you guys are in here, when you and Bryce are in here uh, doing the square dancing and the calling and all that stuff, uh-huh. uh, um, the security cameras, they're taking pictures of, of you and Bryce, and we're sending the pictures to the Chinese government. Why? Because uh, they pay us money for every picture we, we send them. Well, he's not going to be calling this year. Okay. So, Are you? I mean, no, I don't call. Okay. All right. Well, uh, when he's been here in the past, we've taken his picture with the, you know, okay. the hidden hidden security cameras, and we've sent them to the Chinese government. Okay. Yep. That that's it. That's we just needed to let you know about that. All right. Thank you. Is that, and that's okay with you, right? We have your permission. No, not really. I don't really see any reason why they should have them. Well, what have you got to hide from the Chinese? 
I don't have anything to hide from them. But is it because they're, uh, is it because they're Chinese that you don't want them to have your picture? I don't think anyone needs the pictures. Well, I don't know. I mean, but, if 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 I if I said it was the United Kingdom government, you probably wouldn't care, would you? I don't think anyone needs any pictures. I mean, if they want to see him calling, they should come and watch him call. Yeah, well, but, they don't. They don't care about the calling. I mean, they, I have nothing to hide. Right. But yeah. uh, I I just don't know why you're why you're doing that. Yeah. Well, it's not me personally. It's just uh, you know the whole association. We're we're taking. Um, candid pictures of everyone in here, and we're sending them sending them to the Chinese government. I just don't think that's necessary. But but, but it's okay, that's right? What you it's, have to do. It's, it's, that's up to you. No, it's yeah. not really okay. But I don't think I have a whole lot to say about it, do I? We get like fifteen cents for every picture we send them. But oh, the, I would think you could make money some other way. Yeah, but it yeah. adds up. It's it's really good for the association. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Okay. You should yeah. be you should be honored that we're taking your picture and it's in it. Okay. We're sorry. You have reached oh, no. a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Well, shit. Let me try the other one. There's two numbers. This is the final boss. This is Brad. This is Brad. Oh, hey, Brad. This is Ronnie. I'm, I'm one of the callers with the State Callers Association. Uh-huh. And uh, I just got the weirdest call um, from, from you. Was that you that called me? No, it was not me that called you. Oh, okay. Well, who, who called me? Somebody then? is spoofing an old phone number of mine. Oh, okay. What do you, what's that mean? What's spoofing? Who's, who's Ronnie? Ronnie who? Yeah, from, from the State Callers Association. Yeah, what what Ronnie is it from the state? No, who? Association? Who? Not not what? Ronnie who? Yeah, well, who? Okay. Which Ronnie is this? Who? N- not which. Hang Hello? on just a second while I connect my tracing device. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. I'll hold on. Can you connect that when the phone's still connected? Don't you have to unplug the phone and put it in between? Because you got to hook up the screen in there, you know, with the with the little the little blip on the map that gets closer and closer to me. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Is it connected? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, hur- hurry up with that. Yeah. Well, what's the? Uh, what's your real name, asshole? What's my name is Ronnie. What's the model number of the the tracing equipment that you're using to trace me? It's fuck you. Oh, that's not a real model number. That's more like a brand no, name. No, it's not, is it? What, no. Why, why would you say that to me? That's. I that's, think it's the fuck you one twenty four. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to type that into Google. I want to see what you're using to trace me with. Okay, good. Does it have a screen on it you that, do that. that has like a little blip that slowly goes toward me? Like the longer you keep me on the line? No, I have no idea. Well, it's, it sounds like a shitty tracer. Then you should upgrade. Yeah, it is a shitty tracer. I sell tracers. It wouldn't matter Would anyway. You like to buy one? You're, you're doing this through the internet, and I can tell by your shitty phone connection. What shitty phone connection? I think my connection sounds great. Okay. Are you having fun? And what's your goal in doing this? Uh, my goal was to call the uh, the final boss. And it's it's going Who's the well. Final boss. I'm sorry. Who's the final boss? You are. Oh. You know you should upgrade to the to the fuck you 125. It's so much better. Really, I hadn't looked at that model. Yeah, yeah, you got to upgrade. What are you too poor to buy it? Probably. Why don't you get a new job or something? Yeah, I probably should. What are you stuffing your mouth with? Your mama. That that was uncalled for. <laughs> did any did any of you Google the uh, the fuck you one twenty four? Because I'm kind of curious what it looks like and stuff. Yeah, Brad definitely won that phone call. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I always lose. So I don't think he believed me. I don't think he believed that I was Ronnie. Call me crazy. I don't think he did. Hey, 
Brad. It's Crimson. Uh, it's June 1st today. Uh, we did the dog calls. I just wanted to say that I was like a really great show. Not just because you used one of my ideas in it, but also oh, yeah, uh, I just loved how our ideas kind of like came all together and it came out to be a great show. And so to kind of follow up on that, I was wondering what's your definition or what, what are your, some of your favorite prank ideas that you've ever had or like what, what would explain what makes a funny prank idea to you and uh maybe that'd help people bring in suggestions help, i don't know, I know. but uh, i'd be curious just to hear what your thoughts are i've always wanted to call up a gas station and get them to drop a match in the underground tank and blow up the entire gas station i think that would be really hilarious my thoughts i guess are probably that uh you know, it, 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 it sounds a little bit realistic, just believable enough that the person stays on the line, but just so ridiculous that, yeah, they're like, what the hell? <laughs> yep. Anyway, I'd like to hear what you thought. All right, it's fine. I agree. I love confusing the shit out of people. I think a good prank call is one that weirds out the other person for weeks afterwards. Either that or a call where you call up a Walmart employee and you get them to start shaking the soda machine so it falls on top of them. That's always hilarious. Ah, uh, and, and enjoying your shows, Brad. Anyway, of course you just, are. It's more like a test phone call just to see if the, if you're getting the voicemail. Because I think last time I think my mobile phone eh, cut out because I've got an old 2008 mobile phone. That's nice. Old as a house. That's. I mean, I don't. I don't really use mobile phones. Well, apart from this. Anyway, an idea for the the dog one. Say your dog has spiders. The dog has been inspect- infected with spiders. You need oh, to get that okay. taken care of. Bye. Let me pull up the dog park list and try that out right now. Tell them their dog has spiders. Hey, Roy. It's Nick with Nick Co Incorporated with your weekly evaluation. Hey, Nick. Okay, here's the thing. You fucking failed. Okay, you got a big fat F. Damn it. First show coming out of the gate. Not presented by Nick Co Incorporated. Oh, I forgot again. Not a mess up like this. Shit. We might be replacing you. Don't make me get sorry. Brad the producer on you. Sorry, cactus, Nick. Cactus. I'll remember next time. Oh my god, I am so high right now. And I love your show. That's and nice. When I'm really high, it's really, really funny. Yeah, um, it's nice okay. to know that my show's boring when you're not high. But when I'm not high, it's only kind of moderately <sighs> okay. What a jerk. So, all right, goodbye. Bye. Thanks for letting us all know you're high. That's really interesting to everyone that's not you. Hey, Brad. Hey. Uh, can you do me a big favor? Okay. And possibly make a demonstration video on your YouTube account. Now you have your asterisk system set up because I absolutely have no fucking idea on how to do it. Yeah. And your tutorial or your little step-by-step guide on your website sucks dick. So please make what? a video what now. What tutorial? Like right now. Pause the show. Stop playing voicemails and make a tutorial on how to set up asterisks. All right, I guess uh, thanks, that's bye. the end of the voicemails, you guys. It's going to be a short one today. No, really, that's a good idea. I should do that and just kind of show my setup here. But I don't think I would make it like an instructional thing because just look on the internet. That's what I did. I don't know shit about Linux or Asterix. I just got the software from freepbx.org and installed it on an old computer and just kind of followed the instructions on freepbx.org on how to set it all up. Every time I had a problem, I just went to their forums and did a search on my problem, and there was someone else having the same problem. That's pretty much what I do every single time I have a problem with the whole system. I just search for it on freepbx.org. And I'm horrible at Linux. I don't know how to do command line stuff. I mean, I always forget the commands, so I just have to Google every time I want to do really basic things, like run an update or whatever. So I am not the ideal person to make a tutorial for you, especially since there's already a bunch on the internet, which is how I set mine up. Hey, Howard. Big fan. I've been listening for years. Howard? Uh, what? Wait. This isn't Howard Stern show? <sighs> fuck. I called the wrong number. This again. Well, fuck you, you piece of shit podcaster. Podcaster gay. Fuck you. Damn it. That happens all the time here. I think my number's one digit off from Howard Stern's. Hey, Roy. Just wanted to leave a message here. I like the new theme song. It's like a new season of your favorite show. Thanks. Whenever the theme song changes, it sounds like a new era yeah, of the I, Snowplow I, Show. I need to do that more also, often. Also, pro tip to the people leaving a voicemail. Once you start talking, they can hit pound and go straight to the voicemail. So if they're in a hurry, just hit the pound key. Skip all of that waiting and skip all the menus. Just get straight to the voicemail. Yep. All right. Thanks, Roy. See ya. Never, because I'm on the phone. Crap. Uh, Edit this out. Okay.
Uh, it, it's gone. No one will ever hear that. Yeah, another good tip on the voicemails is I think you can hit pound after you're finished for options and you can delete your voicemail and start over or whatever you need to do. I get a lot of voicemails where people fuck up and then they just start going, oh shit, 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 what did I do? What did I do? Don't play this, please. And then they hang up and leave another voicemail and I have to listen to two voicemails. It's bullshit. Hey, Brad, it's Olga. Hey, Olga. Um, so I was thinking and you were mm-hmm. talking about... Uh, alternate words for prank call victims. Yep. Well, this voicemail is probably going to be played like way after other people give you suggestions, but not really. But like, what about well, what about like prank target or prank um, mark? Mm-hmm. You know, those okay. are like sort of similar words that aren't as rapey. <laughs> um, rapey. There's also but you know, like the butt of a joke. That's like a target. You should add it to so the thing. Think but. Right? Yeah, okay. why not? Add it to the poll on the Facebook group. I think you're the first person to suggest Mark. Hello, Brad! Oh, this Jesus. is Abed on Monday. Hey, I am calling hey Abed, this. let me turn the volume down for you. Idea today. I have great idea this time. First idea, you call the doctor's office and you go, Hello, do you have wheelchair ramp? Oh, yes, you do? Oh, take them away. No more wheelchair ramp for you. Take them. The disabled people, we need to make them strong, make them walk. That's a good All one. Right. Second idea, you call the prisoners of war missing in action widows, and you say, Hello, guess what? We have found your missing husband after so many years of loss. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. I think I'm going to do that for the next show. Just the entire show. Instead of doing Sensei Doug calls, I'm going to make a bunch of women cry on the next show. Be looking forward to that, everyone. Hey, Brad. Oh, shit. The ringing's still there. Hey. Oh, I've been calling up pizza places, pizza mm-hmm. huts, to gain them to flip all the switches, because that's hilarious. Yep. You should do more of those. I should. Thanks for all the videos. The only problem with the flip all the switches calls is that you don't really get to see them flipping all the switches. You don't get to see all the lights go out, but it's still kind of funny that they flip all the switches. I need to get Giad to do a bunch of flip all the switches video pranks for calls of mass confusion. And the entire episode will just be a Giad walking into the store and then a bunch of darkness. Half of the show will just be dark all the time. It'll be awesome. We should do that, Giad. Let's get to work on that. Brad. <clears throat> Baloney Maloney. Hello, Baloney uh, Maloney. Look, <clears throat> I was uh, listening to your show the other day, and you sounded very vulnerable and frail. That's me. And I I'm pretty old. wanted to be the one to tell you that there is a bomb in your dog. Shit. I'm, I'm sorry. This is must be very shocking for you. Yeah. I... What the fuck? I've been kind of stressing about it all day myself, but there is a bomb in your dog. And we have to do something about it right now. Okay. Um, maybe involving a cannon of some sort um, that we can put the dog in. That'll do it. I don't know. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. I, uh, you know, or you might be too frail and vulnerable to be able to uh, do anything about it. But I'll, I'll, I'll be over to help you out in a second. Hold on. Just stay right there. I'm on my way. Thanks, Baloney Maloney. You're the best. Okay, that's enough with the voicemails for now. Hey, look at that. I only have 14 voicemails left. I'm actually catching up. It's weird how that happens when I do more than two shows a week. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. And be looking forward to one more show this week. It's going to be nothing but Sensei Doug calls. Hopefully, I actually get that done this week. Since I'm telling everyone I'm going to get that done this week. If you are interested in listening to live shows, it's really easy to do. The main thing is that you need to sign up on Twitter. You need to have a Twitter account. And then you need to follow Phone Losers twitter.com slash phone losers and once you've done that you need to set up twitter to alert you every time that i post a tweet and i swear i don't post a lot of tweets on the phone losers account occasionally i will post videos and stuff that we've done and finished shows and other miscellaneous little things but it's pretty rare so you're not going to get a bunch of alerts but that will help you get the alerts for the live shows because i always announce the live shows on twitter I know some of you are skipping the whole Twitter thing and you're just setting up alerts somehow on YouTube, but I don't know if you want to do that. I'm not going to do YouTube forever. I know I've been saying that for a long time and I keep doing YouTube, but I would like to try some other things like Twitch or Periscope or the Facebook streaming thing that they have now. Just kind of mix it up and do random things all the time. So Twitter is the way to listen. 
twitter.com slash phone losers. Sometimes I also announce the live shows on facebook.com slash phone losers, but not always. So Twitter is the best way to be alerted to live shows. A lot of people have been asking me where the chat room is for the live shows, and that would be the YouTube comments area when I do the live show. You just go to the YouTube link and there is a chat room slash comments area thing on the side. You know how that works. So that's the chat room I'm referring to whenever I do a live show. Today's show was produced by Jason B. and Brian W. I wish I could say their last names, but that would violate contracts and stuff. Audio engineers for today's episode were Robert S. and Joe G. Special thanks this week to Nation M, Rhapsody Man 2000, Ben Kilburn, Buster C., and, of course, Neon Like Bajork. Catering today was provided by Catbox and Brian W., and my mid-show sensual massage was provided by Kuraz. Thank you, Kuraz, even though it didn't last as long as it should have, or I mean as long as I would have liked. But that's okay, because then the mid-show break wasn't as long as it normally is. Kuraz really needs to work on his stamina. And, of course, today's show was sponsored by High School Graduate. High School Graduate thinks he's hot shit just because he graduated high school. But I'm not jealous, just because I never graduated. Doesn't bother me one bit. I'm going to get my GED one of these years. So whatever, high school graduate. Thanks for being a sponsor of the show. Today we're going to end the show with a song by... Oh, hold on, hold on. Legal team is messaging me. My lawyer, Miguel F., he's telling me that I need to uh, point out that I was just kidding about uh, getting a gas station attendant to drop a match into the underground gas tanks. Please, nobody steal that idea from me because that might kill someone. And also he's saying don't trick people into dropping soda machines on themselves because that could also result in injuries or something. Miguel worries way too much. Okay, here is a song, everyone. Thanks for listening. Circle K, Pam speaking. Hello, ma'am. It's Roy Gerbel. Yes. I'm calling you from the corporate cell. Okay. There's a problem you need to know. Your system's down and the network's slow. Oh, great. Every time you make a sale, the board lights up and the hard drive fails. But don't worry, we can make it stop. Head to the back and find the breaker box. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. All of them? We're resetting the system. I'm scared to do this. Flip all the switches. (laughs) We'll fix this now. We need your help. This is a part of working in retail. Okay, then. Don't you worry. We're almost through. Open the door, label panel two. Okay, now just you listen. We gotta do this now. You need to flip all the switches. All of these in front of me? We're resetting the system. Well, what system are you trying to reset? Flip all the switches. I know you hear alarms going on. Am I supposed to be doing this? And you think you need to call your boss. Customers. Coming in. <laughs> Keep your focus and please ignore them. This is the worst problem I've ever seen. Oh, great. Now it's affecting all of the machines. We've got one last chance to gain control. Hold on, then. Find the door labeled 900 volts. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. We're resetting the system. It's going to shut the whole store down. Flip all the switches. It's okay, ma'am. The lights went out. Look, there went the light. The circuit's waiting for another route. I can't see anything. Keep flipping all the breakers down the road. Four, five, oh, shit. Six. You're on a cordless bar. Hello? Now do I turn them back on? Yes, ma'am, you turn them back on. Uh, hold on, then. Every, every time you turn one on, you have to tell me that you turn it on. You have to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like everything's back on. I'm checking the board now, and as a matter of fact, some of the lights are now turned from red to green, so it's actually working. And I'm green on that it, side? It looks like, yes, ma'am, it's, it's a very successful job. You've done a very good job. Have yourself a cup of coffee on the house. 
I, I've never ha- I've worked here for over a year, and I've never had anybody call me in the middle of the night and have me do that. So, it so. happens from time to time, ma'am. It rarely happens, but it does happen. Okay. So all of my computers and everything will all come back up and everything? Yeah, it might take about two or three hours, but they will come back up. Okay, then. So it's okay for us to hang up then? Yeah. I'm being prank called on the telephone. Yeah, just write that down. (laughs) 